We are going to investigate a straw that has been damaged by monodontomerus. You can see the various holes along the side of the straw where the larva exited, chewed through probably the cocoon and through the wall of this thin wall tube. This is not an easy tear, so I've got to start it with a razor blade. I'm cutting through the mud plug. We're probably going to find some healthy cocoons where there aren't any holes, and then probably all down through the bottom, I suggest we'll see monodontomerus all throughout. So we're going to start the top, trying to peel the straw. Not very easily, but the first couple ones we find should be healthy. This, uh, there's brown little curlicue things at the bottom underneath the straw, or underneath the cocoon. This is the feces from the larva. Not a big deal, it's not mites. You can just brush that off, and this is just a, a small male egg. As we peel through the straw, we're going to see um, another piece of uh, mud that will separate the chambers. And then here is a, um, another cocoon. Again, just wrapped with feces, not a big deal. Nothing's moving there. Here's the plug that separated the, um, the chambers. Now that plug actually looked like, um, that looked like a different plug. This was, a, this was not a mud plug. This is a chewed up um, mastic. Uh, it's a, like a vegetation and mud mixture. It kind of um, does, does pull apart, but that's probably, that tells me I'm no longer dealing with the Osme lignaria mason bee. I'm dealing with another mason bee. This also tells me this straw was um, left out in uh, June and July where probably Osme californica, a uh, different mason bee that mostly picks on yellow stuff, um, existed or went through here. Now I can see as we get into this area, right away I find these little black things, these right here that I'm going to peel off, are all um, monodontomers. These little female wasps did not make it through. No, they didn't, they, they didn't make it through, so they died inside there. And so probably all of this straw is um, going to be full of mono. Now, the Osme californica uh, has very tight chambers, so she they're very, very uh, tightly controlled. This is, um, well, I know that's not good. A uh, little um, fuzzy on that one, so it's probably uh, mildew. And you can see the, um, the cocoon is inside. Oh, this right here is not even a cocoon. This is a, um, the pollen pocket that uh, nothing survived in there. So this is just a whole bunch of yellow pollen that uh, didn't make it, or you know, the bee didn't survive in that area. Now here is a cocoon of the Californica. This Californica only grows after yellow, very, very um, brilliant pollen, typically from like a, a sunflower. And as we wrestle through here, still I don't see, this is all pollen. So the bees didn't survive in that aspect. This is all pollen again. So it seems like something went on here that the, um, it's all just pollen that was brought in. And so that, oh boy, I'm seeing a lot. This is the, um, this is again that masticated plug. And there's just, that's just a pollen ball. And I'm suggesting that um, we didn't get many mason bees in here uh, of the Californica type. Again, pollen ball. But where mono, their uh, monodontomers is very sneaky. They, they actually um, uh, can tap. There's a flash uh, YouTube video that we've got on there that shows you how they tap along there. They can sense whether it's just pollen or whether something has actually tired movement. This is a cocoon that I don't think is a good one. And then now we're going to be only into the mono areas from here on out.
Now what's interesting about the straw is that the Californica bee is around in uh, June or July and the outside couple chambers were closed off by the Osmia lignaria, the mason bee that we're um, typically working with. So this straw has been filled up last year. That bee died, female died, didn't finish the straw, and the mason bee, the Osmia lignaria, came into the end and just filled up two chambers. Now, it doesn't really matter to a mason bee um, that a different species was in their hole. They don't, uh, so a lot of times they'll own it by putting their own smell into it, but um, a different species is not a different smell. It's just something they completely ignore, so they will lay their eggs right after someone else's eggs. This is, uh, you can see the hole right through this chamber. This was um, successfully exited. Here's another hole where in this, um, if we were to open this up, we'd probably find, um, well, let's see what we'll find. We find um, just parts of mono. So we can write off this tube uh, with saying we have two males that we've rescued. Um, probably two, feeling for firmness. This one feels too soft. This is probably full of mono. And I'm going to say, oh, there's a hole. Probably none of the um, Californicas survived the onslaught from the mono. Um, 